Data. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, hello, countdowners, young and old, old viewers and new viewers on this bank holiday in, uh, in May. Um, we hope you enjoyed the show. It's a little bit of homely fun presenting the people to the people. We have the homely fun and the people come on and try these amazing word games and numbers games. And we always like to, to start with a bit of stuff written by you, the viewer. And I think, I think our new viewers will like this, Carol. You do this every time there's a bank holiday, don't you? I don't care whether you like this or not, but I'm going to read it. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, uh, it's Love and Merry Wit Hay, it says. An anagram of Vorderman and Whiteley. That doesn't quite work. But here's the poem. Yeah. It seems to me it's so absurd to keep insulting Dick and Bird. <laughs> the things we say are so unkind, and yet they never seem to mind. They're very good at what they do with funny words and numbers too. They try to make our evenings bright with laughter, banter, fun and fight. Carol with her dreamy eyes, apparel with his flashy ties. <laughs> with bated breath, we've waited long to hear them bursting into song, but maybe that will never be, or even put us off our tea. So let's look on the brighter side and just enjoy the chat and chide and try to show them that we care and stop misusing him and hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite good, that, isn't it? I quite like that one. John Seville, F-R-E-S of... But, uh, well, uh, wouldn't, Warwickshire. Wouldn't you hate it if people were always nice to you, though? We wouldn't. We wouldn't. We, 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 yeah, wouldn't okay. like that. We are. So there we are. We, uh, if you've just joined us, actually, it gets better after this, because we <laughs> now start playing the game. And we have a champion in the chair, firmly in the chair at the beginning of the week, so welcome. New champion, uh, well, second time champion, actually, Adrian, Adrian Denrico, and our challenger today, Julio Sullivan. <laughs> well, there he is. There's your man. Your new champion, your Nottingham University uh, uh, student here, uh, coming to the end of his time there, perhaps not on countdown, who knows, good with a 69 on Thursday, then uh, 56 on Friday. So, well done, Adrian, and welcome back to you. Now, Julie O'Sullivan. Hi, Julie. Hi. We're looking forward to this. I am indeed. A good yes. girl. She lives in St Helens in Merseyside. She's got three sons. And she, oh, this is her job, she works as a senior staff nurse in accident and emergency. Do, yeah. Bye, Gemma. Take your hat off to you for doing that. Uh, off duty, she enjoys eating out, puzzles, and she once did a parachute jump. She also says she once spent a night in a haunted house. So we can expect a spirited performance from Julie today. <laughs> but let's just hope that she plays within the rules of the game. That's Julie O'Sullivan. Here she is. Now, if our guest in Dictionary Corner uh, for the next few days was paid by the word for all his writings, well, he'd be <laughs> a millionaire and he'd be far too busy enjoying himself to come on this little humble show. <laughs> what can I say? He is the Quilla Cooch of quotations, the Graham Greene of graffiti, and together with Tanya Stiles of the Oxford University Press, they are the Dr Johnson and Dorothy Parker of Dictionary <laughs> Dell. After all that, it's a relief to see it's just her old friend, Nigel Reese. <laughs> Goodness me. Yes, and I've, I've come armed with a quotation for you, Richard. This was said by Woody Allen. He said, 80% of success is simply due to turning up. So I've turned up. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. Good to see you. OK, well, off you go, Adrian, please. Let's start with the consonant, please, Carl. You can indeed, Adrian. P. And the second one. L. And a third. And N. And a vowel, please. O. And another. A. And a consonant. T. And a vowel. E. And a consonant. K. And a final vowel, please. And I. OK, counting down.
right then, that's uh, the way that is. We have to form a word out of that. As many letters as possible. Adrian, how many? Seven. Seven, yes. Julie? Eight. Well, eight, right. Seven, Adrian? Elation. Yes, elation, of course. That's a feel when you... The feeling you have when you do well in this game. Elation, Julie? Well, I don't know if it's spelt right, but pollinate. I don't know if it's you spell it then. P-O-L-I-N-A-T-E. I said... Possibly an L. L, yes, let's have yeah. a look. I wonder. Two L's, I think. I'm afraid. Right. Yeah, sorry. What? P O double L? Yeah. I and H, I think so. Otherwise, it would be pollinate, wouldn't it? Well, you see it. I think so. But it was a mighty crack at that, I'm an eight. Goodness gracious. So, elation, because you do have that elation, because you've got the points for that, Adrian. Nigel. And there is another seven letter word, one of those words which is always coming up on countdown pantile, which is. Um, it's one of those curved roof tiles that you sometimes see that overlap on roofs. Yeah. yeah. OK. Uh, right, well, bad luck, Julie, but at least you're in the spirit of the thing, so off you go now with your letters. Can I have a consonant, please? R. And another. S. And another one. G. And another. A uh, Z. And the vowel, please. E. And another. U. And another. E. And a consonant, please. V. Uh, and another consonant, please. And a consonant, thank you. And D. OK, starting the countdown clock. Yes, now, Julie. Six. Six, Adrian. Six. Good. Julie, six. Um, surged. Yes, surged. surged. Good. Adrian? Yep. Served. Yeah. And su surged and served, yeah? Yeah. OK, for six. They're both there, and also for six, there's versed. If you are versed in the ways of the mm. world. Versed. Uh, OK, um, well, six points there, so the scores move up to six for Julie, 13 for Adrian. Now, Adrian, it's your choice of nine letters, please. Can I start with a vowel, please, go. OK, Adrian. I. And another. O. And a consonant. M. And another, please. F. And another. T. And a vowel. A. A consonant. B. A consonant. N. And a final consonant, please. And R. Thank you. I start the tick-tock. Adrian? Six. <clears throat> Good. Now, Julie? Uh, <clears throat> six. OK, I'll have uh, you, Adrian, for your six. Ration. Ration for six, Julie? Bantor. Spell that? B-A-N-T-O-R. Uh, well, do you mean by banter? As in banter, banter. between the, people. The thing of banter. which Carol and I are accused oh. of <laughs> engaging uh, in meaningless and I tedious see. and thoroughly <laughs> useless. Yes, yes. I suspect <laughs> the beginning of the programme. Can't well, find it. it. Can't find it, I'm afraid. B A N T E R, but not Bantor. No, not Bantor. No, the agent now. No, 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 sorry. Yes. With you're you on are. the right. It's just your spelling that's letting you down at the moment. It's a good word, Bantor. But no, we can't have that same more relation no. for Adrian there because uh, he gets the points uh, for, what was it, Ration, wasn't it? Yeah. Ration. Well, that was only a six, said he glibly, but uh, I don't know what you can do better than that, Nigel. Uh, well, we can't do better than six. Obtain, no. format, no more than six. OK, fine. Well, six it is to be. OK, what we do now, we go to the numbers, and, Julie, it's your numbers, please. Can I have one from the top row and any other five, please? OK, Carl? thanks, Julie. And five. 
Right, the numbers then for you both are 9, 1 and 10, mm. 3, 5 and 50. And a target, 879. All righty, 879, 879. Here we go. Well, it's 879 now, Julie. Nowhere near. Nowhere near that one, mm. no. As we, as we speak, Carol is still working it out, mm. so it's obviously a difficult one. Adrian? Um, 886. Well, that's ooh, seven, seven away, even with a chance, eight, eight. a few points. 886, we'll look at that, Carol. Um, three minus one is two. Yeah, three minus one is two. Multiply by 50 is 100. Yeah, Times the nine. Multiply by 9, 900. Um, and take away the 10, the 5, and I've declared wrong. Have you? I declared 886. And you've, you took that away and took that away, and it's 885, yeah. Oh, dear. OK, well, well never mind. Um, it's a sticky one, this Carol L thing. Yeah, I think if you, I think if you say 950 is a 450, and then you take the 10 away from that, it's 440. And then say 5 minus 3 is 2. Multiply those two together, that's 880. And then take away the 1 is 879. Yeah. yeah. That's very good. That's one of her best. That's one of your best. Such a pity you do it on a bank holiday when no one's watching. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> anyway, everyone's now watching Nigel Rees, because Nigel will take us into the break. I think that last time I was on, Richard, you mentioned that my Radio 4 programme, quote-unquote, is now uh, over 25 years old. And in all those 25 years, one of the regular spots we've had is uh, eavesdroppings, that is to say, overheard remarks, which you may hear if you're behind two old ladies on the back of the bus. Uh, here's one. Here's two. Here's three. Carl Pike of Leighton overheard this in his local um, supermarket. One woman saying to another, have you tried any of this geriatrically modified food yet? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mrs. P. Barker of Bath, a sales assistant in an antique supermarket, leant over towards his friend and said very conspiratorially, my friend, you know, she got her kitchen from MI5. <laughs> <laughs> And Ray Smith of Truro, my wife was in the waiting room at the local hospital when she heard one old lady say to another, if they don't sort out my waterworks by next week, they're going to fit a cafe chair. <laughs> <laughs> the mind boggles. <laughs> the mind boggles. <laughs> OK. I think I can overhear you at home saying, and this is the programme, Dorothy, you watch every day at <laughs> half past four. <laughs> It's rubbish. Anyway, it's not. It gets better in the second half, I can assure you. So uh, do stay tuned for that second half and we'll see you in part two of Countdown. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, oh, chips. You never told me you're making chips. Hey, from the microwave, man. Yeah. Anyway, microwave chips come in a box. I don't see no box. Where's the box? Hmm? Alright. Mega microchips from McCain. You'll never believe they came from the microwave. One mega microchip box. Oh, yeah. Look around. Now hey, you come in a box. Mm -hmm. Look. Oh, yeah. oh, Look. Look. Oh, 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 oh. No chips. No oh, game. Oh. New mega microchips from McCain. Hey, hey. Wouldn't it be lovely to have an ice cream? Yours magazine is so packed with all the things you enjoy hobbies, lively letters. Oh, I don't think so. What? <laughs> Health matters. Nostalgia. Come on, Granddad. You may need even more time for yourself. Could you nip back and get me a flake? A flake. Try yours. Only one pound ten every month. I believe the best-selling topical painkiller for backache, rheumatic and muscular pain, and common arthritic conditions. I believe is now also available in a new maximum strength gel. 
Available only from pharmacies, I believe maximum strength. Pain relief without pills. Otex eardrops disperse earwax and can avoid syringing. Ask your pharmacist for the UK's number one selling eardrops, Otex. <laughs> when was the last time you laughed like this? Go on, laugh. Of course you can. New Tenor Lady Ultra Mini is as discreet as a panty liner and, unlike sanitary towels, it's designed for small bladder problems. So it's drier. Much drier. <laughs> Why live without it? Tenor Lady Ultra Mini. Laugh, move, live. Yeah, this is this is part two. We've got five rounds ahead of us. Uh, our champion uh, Adrian Denrico is on 19, and challenger here Julia Sullivan on uh, six. You're staying very calm here, Julia. Julia, but of course you're used to tension working in the yeah. casualty department. <laughs> which which is worse, here or the casualty department? Oh, definitely here. Definitely, <laughs> without a doubt. Okay, well, uh, off you go now with your next choice of letters, please. Can I have a consonant, please, Carol. You can, Julie. That's S. And another one. C. And another one, please. L. And another. H. And a vowel, please. E. And another one. I. And another one, please. O. And a consonant. W. And another consonant, please. And a consonant, thank, thank you. you. E. X. OK, clock starting. Only five. Oak five. Uh, Adrian? Five as well. Yeah, OK. Difficult one. I have Julie's five. Close. C-L-O-S-E. Yes. Close. Adrian? Holes. Holes. H-O-L-E-S. H-O-L-E-S. Holes and close. Yeah. Well, Nigel. Well, there's sex in there, but that's only three letters. <laughs> Not very good, really. There is a six. That's right. There's a chisel as well. Chisel. 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 Um, also, uh, owlish, um, oh, resembling oh, owlish. an owl. Oh, owlish. Oh, owlish. Oh, owlish. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, you've got a rather owlish glasses on, like. Yes, I, I'm often, people often say this. Do they? <laughs> yes, I should look at those glasses. They are huge. They are absolutely enormous. <laughs> I don't know the trend these is for little sort of Granny Victorian. I know. I do have some at home. <laughs> when I'm on countdown, I wear these. <laughs> they are immense. I can't believe how big they are. Yes, enormous. Yes. You could eat soup out of those, could you? <laughs> <laughs> they are certainly owlish. Owlish, OK. Right, what's the score then, folks? 24 and 11. And we now move on to Adrian's letters, please. Oh, consonant, please, Carol. Thank you, Adrian. L. And a vowel. And a vowel, yep. U. And another. A. And a consonant, please. T. Uh, another consonant. R. A vowel. E. A consonant. D. Another vowel. I. And the final consonant, please. And Y. <coughs> Good, thank you. Here we go. Adrian? Seven. Julie? Seven. Excellent. Um, here are the seven. Readily. Readily. Trailed. And trailed. Trailed and readily. Uh, no problems with those for seven. Seven. And yep. one other seven. Reality is also there, but we, we couldn't beat seven. No, good. Well, well done. Well done. Uh, so that's it. Uh, reality there and readily. 
and a trailed. OK, 31-18 now. Three rounds left. Letters, numbers and the famous conundrum. So, Julie, let's have those letters, please. Can you have a consonant, please, Carol? You can, Julie. S. And another one, please. G. And another. P. And another. N. Uh, and another one, please. Another one. J. And a vowel. A. <coughs> and another one. Another. Sorry, another vowel, another please. Another vowel, yeah. E. And another vowel, please. O. And a consonant, please. And that, Julie, is C. Thank you. All right, here we go. Thank you. And Julie, how many? Six. And you, Adrian? Six. Six. Yours, Julie? Sponge. Sponge, yes, sponge. Adrian? Sponge as well. Sponge. Yes, sponge. Yes. yes. I've got a bee in my bonnet about sponges. I mean, I know I always say this. I, I'm sorry, I may be very environmentally incorrect, but I mean, aren't sponges expensive? They really are expensive. And yeah, I like a good sponge. I love, I love a bath of a sponge, a good old fashioned sponge. But do you know, <laughs> where, to, do you know where to get a cheap sponge, Carol? <laughs> no, where? <laughs> Cyprus. Just go to Cyprus. Just spend a thousand quid going to Cyprus for a fortnight and you get a cheap sponge. <laughs> anyway, that's sponge. Nigel. I I'll remember that, Richard. Yes. Certainly. yes. Uh, well, we've got an interesting six-letter word. Yes. It relates to the dance. You, which you do this to? Uh, congas is yes. there. The line dance at the end of parties. Okay. C-O-N-G-A-S. Yes, I must say, I love that because when I was at, uh, at a dancing class in the school holidays... <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> That was the only dance I could do the conga. You had to I was at the back and shuffled along at the back. It was the only dance I could do the conga. <laughs> right, uh, we'll dance off, waltz off into the numbers game. Now, looking at, only at the score on the way, 37-24. Adrian, numbers, please. I have two large ones and any other four, please, Carl. <laughs> OK, thank you, Adrian. One, two, three. Ooh. And I'll have that one. Right, the numbers are nine and five, seven and ten, 150, with a target this time very low, 139. 139, everybody. 139, here we go. What do you say? 139, Adrian. 139. Good for you. Julie? 139. OK. I'll, I'll just give it to you, Julie. 100 plus 50 is 150. It is. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Mm-hmm. That 2 plus the 9 is 11. And I take that away. Yeah. And take that uh, away. 139. That's it. Well done. And you? Adrian? Uh, started the same way. And then I subtracted 9 and 7 from 150 and added the 5 on. OK, so 9 and 7 is 16, minus the 5 is 11, took that away, yep. yep. Okay. OK, well, well done, you two, at uh, 10 points there. So it's probably not... I mean, it was not that hard, but it wasn't that easy, if you see what I mean. 47 and 34, uh, now to the conundrum we go. Fingers on the buzzer, eyes on the screen, please. Now, this is a nine-letter word jumbled up. First person to unjumble it gets 10 points. Uh, please now reveal today's countdown conundrum. <laughs> oh! Goodness gracious, both at the same time. But your light comes on first, your buzz, Julie, to say? Fluctuates. Fluctuates. Well, would you believe it? Because it is. <laughs> yes. Well done. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, well done. And look at that. Actually, you were 19 and 6 at half time, but it's now 47 and 44, just by three points. You have failed to uh, knock him off his post. So, very good by Julie, but excellent there for Adrian for the third time. Still the champion, Adrian Denrico. Well done. Okay. 
Oh, well done, well done, Julia. Sorry we have to see you go, but I love you. I've always like been surrounded by people like you. I feel a bit safe when you're around. <laughs> but, uh, I wouldn't count on it. Sorry you have to go. <laughs> We've got a goodie bag for you to a good Thanks. girl. There we are. Say farewell to Julia O'Sullivan. Bye bye. <laughs> She says, she says, I'm not safe when she's around. That's interesting. <laughs> anyway, here's Matthew Jenkins coming up tomorrow from Portsmouth. Hello, Matthew. Hello. Did you get that conundrum pretty quick, wasn't it? Yeah, just before I got it. And what about old uh, Dan Rico here? Do you think you can lock him off? Not bad. Not bad. Give it a go. Okay, give it a go. Good lad. That's what I say. So, anyway, for today, we'll say goodbye to you two. Bye-bye. And Carol will say farewell. Farewell, And my dear. see you all tomorrow. Till then, same time, same place, same channel. Goodbye. <laughs>